ladies and gentlemen, I hope you have a great and wonderful day. And it seems here that these protesters are finally realizing that there is, um, you know, consequences for your actions. That, um, that maybe they're going to start realizing, probably not now, but, you know, in a few weeks' time, probably a couple of months, hell, maybe even a year, uh, that, uh, things are going to be very rough for them. And for this young lady here, um, she seems to, uh, not understand that, uh, it's not just where she lost her chance to actually graduate, but that goes on a record. And these are things that I'll be going to explain a little bit here, uh, after we see this. So, what we have here is this from Colin Rugg. ASU senior starts crying after she finds she finds out that she won't be able to graduate after she got arrested for protesting on campus. Brianna Broker tells a BD Brown 743473 that she won't be graduating because her suspension means she will write miss her finals. My apologies there. I'm a little disappointed. I'm being restricted from a lot of things right now that I didn't that I didn't expect to be for the first standing up for something that I believe in. I have I have I have family coming in who I have to let them know to you know not coming to my graduation ceremonies. She's gonna go and explaining that I'll I'll go over it obviously, and you guys will just have to see what I'm talking about here. So without further ado, let her speak her mind. Um, I mean I'm a little disappointed. Um, I, um, I, <laughs> I'm being restricted from a lot of things right now. Um, that I that I didn't expect to be um, for, for standing up for something that I believe in. Um. Here's the one thing that I want to address here on what she is saying here um, that I didn't expect to be a believe in. Um, here's the thing. There's one thing for fighting for what you believe in and stuff like that and all that great stuff um, when you are not harming other individuals in the process or not inconveniencing other people in the process, or not making an encampment of an area of that of that of that process, right? Um, you thinking that uh, um, that you have the right to completely inconvenience other people, like making an encampment, breaking into the uh, the actual college and stuff like that, ignoring orders and stuff like that. If you if you honestly think that that's okay, then I have a, I, I'm, t I'm sorry to tell you this, but that's not how that works. You have the right to protest legally, right? You have the right to protest illegally, um, but that when you're like, you know, breaking in things, go out on the street and protest, go on the sidewalk and protest, or go into the governor's official area or whatever, the main areas, and go and protest. However, if you're going to go and inconvenience other people, as I've been constantly saying, that's where that stops. That's where your right to things for you, what you believe in is now inconveniencing other people in the fact that, like, you are making things hard for other people to get, get to places, etc., etc. So you need to start understanding that actual reality. Um, and, um, <laughs> you know, I have, I have family coming in who I have to let them know to, you know, not come to my graduation ceremonies. Um, I, I am glad that there is um, a guarantee that my courses will be taken care of, so I don't have to worry necessarily about, um, about um, my graduation requirements and um, the fact that I, I, I will earn my degree as I, as I have spent the past four years doing, um, but <laughs> I, I, I'm just disappointed. Um, I mean, I'm a 2020 high school grad, so I wasn't able to walk then. <laughs> and so, um, you know, here it is. I'm not able to walk now. Knowing, you know, what... Yeah, and uh, I wonder what that led to her not being able to walk during her high school graduation um, of this. And this is what i understanding here is that she has no concept of accountability whatsoever. Um, and she's finally having that accountability and finally having that reality slap her in the face. And this is a good thing because maybe now she'll stop acting stupid. Maybe now she'll start acting more correctly and make her judgments and decisions more wise. Of course, with these people, that doesn't always seem to be case here because 
she seems that she would probably still do it again, as you will find out. But you know now, would, and you know, like you said, you were standing up for a cause. Would you do it again? I mean, yeah, I would. I was, I was doing what I believed was right, and I still believe it to be right. I would, I would stand up for the cause again, even if it means something negative to me, because, <laughs> like, the cause is. Um, so much harm has been done to to all of those people um, already. I I am safe. I am I am fine. I might not graduate, and that might harm future job prospects and stuff like that. But I'm not. <laughs> I'm not like in physical danger. I'm not. I'm not constantly worried about um, being hurt or being forced from my home or anything like that. I would absolutely um, stand up again and protest again. See, the thing is, is that we would like to call these protests, but what you're doing is it's a riot. And that's what I've been trying to explain for my stream here is that your what you were doing is not a protest. It was a riot. You broke into places. You created an encampment. You competed other people, and nobody is going to be on your side when you do stuff like this. And yes, this will reflect on your actual job prospects here. When you come down, when it comes down to it, when you see uh, what it shows, like oh well, this person hosts protests. Oh, this person is going to go doing this. This is going to illicitly think of the of the employer and like, well, are you going to go do this to my company? Are you going to go do this whenever? you know you see fit like this puts a weight onto that fact and you may not be in danger but it's gonna be completely different when you do not have money and especially in this in an economy and you can't actually feed yourself it's gonna start really hitting you hard quickly when you can't when you can't do things i mean i guess i can respect a person for like standing up for her beliefs but the way that she did it was stupid. The way that she went about it was not the correct way. And you just don't go and impede other people's lives just because you want to stand up for something what you believe in. I have a lot of beliefs that I do, but I will not go out and impede on other people and restrict their freedoms or remove their uh, or have them have not be able to do what they want to do because of it. Right? Uh, I will. Put my opinions out here like I do on YouTube and stuff like that. Hell, if I go onto a street or whatever and I do a protest, which I don't ever plan on doing ever, but I would do it to where it's not impeding other people because that's the correct way to do it. You protest correctly. There's a right way to protest and there's a wrong way. And what she did was the wrong way. These people are going to start finding out very quickly that their job at prospects are going to be affected, that they won't be graduating. Some of these people will even be deported if they are here on visas. And this is the consequences. And I love to see it because we need more of that in our society. People need to be punished for their actions because today, in today's society, we just don't have enough of it. All right, guys, so that's it for the video. Let's go share. As always, take care, my friends. I'm disgusted by what I see in public. Even people closest to us can't be trusted. This is algorithmic disease, the social media.